Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel for another painting tutorial in acrylics. I'm Joni Young if you're new here and thanks so much for joining me today. I'm going to show you all about figure painting today. So I'm going to make it really simple so that you guys can now easily add your own figures to your landscapes and whatever you're painting. So keep in mind these are just a simple, easy to follow along step-by-step, -step, more impressionistic style of figures. So nothing too, too detailed. And I'm going to be working on a 16 by 20 canvas today. So I have lots of room to demonstrate a few different um, shapes and sizes for figures, male and female. And I'm gonna be using a jumbo flat brush just to lay down the background color. And then I've got a 14 filbert brush for some larger uh, figures in the painting and a small round brush uh, number three for some of the smaller details like the head and maybe um, some smaller figures so you can see the difference in sizes using a few different brushes and I'm going to be using the following colors for this one yellow ochre titanium white crimson red mars black and phthalo blue all these colors I'm going to use to make other shades and values with. So it, it'll be interesting for you not only to learn about how to paint figures today, but how to mix colors and a few little color recipes in here. So let's go ahead and begin in this tutorial today, starting off with the large flat brush. The first thing I'm going to do is just add a little bit of water to my brush and then over the canvas. This is going to help me blend my acrylics out a lot easier over the canvas. So you just want enough to dampen the canvas, but not so much that the water is just running off of the canvas. So if you accidentally add too much, just dab it off with a little rag or towel. Okay, so now I'm going to take my yellow ochre and I'm just going to start working it up and down all across the canvas, creating lighter and darker areas. And I'm going to take some white without washing my brush off. So I've got quite a bit here on the end of my brush. And I'm just going to start adding little strips of this. And then working any of those thicker, lumpier areas out. I'm going to start pulling a little bit across here and there, and then down again. This will give us kind of like a um, little bit of an atmosphere that there's a city setting for these figures in this painting. So you can kind of get the mood of the painting. So a little bit down and across longer sweeping strokes, sometimes a little shorter. So these little dabs like this can just be some of the windows or shiny spots on the buildings in the distance. More abstract like. I'm going to be a little bit more generous with a white right in here. I'm going to add a little bit of black and a little bit of blue 
mix that with a yellow ochre and the white on my brush so we get this beautiful blue gray shade and I'm going to add a little bit of this gives us some shadows You can add a little bit more blue if you want. Okay, and I'm going to take just a little bit of red and mix that up with the blue gray color. Add little hints of it up top here. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my little filbert brush here, dry with some more white on it, and just add a few more little patches of light. And just keeping it very loose and simple lines shapes blocking in then i'm just going to take my brush with the white and pulling it out like this sliding my brush up and down important when we're painting uh, impressionistic figures like I'm showing you today that are more in silhouette to have a nice bright background so you get this really nice play on light and shadow I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my brush on these figures now and I'm going to start adding them in this area here so this is also important to know too is where to add them it all depends on what you're painting and what landscape you're adding them to or a street scene um, for this one today however we're going to have their heads starting right about here so about four four to five inches down from the top of the canvas. And I'm just going to start by taking a little bit of red and the yellow ochre. And I'm going to just show you a basic. We'll start with the shoulders. So there's a few different shapes that you can use for your basic figures. I'll show you the first one. We'll just do a little rectangle. 
So a little rectangle like this. Then we'll take a little bit of blue and mix that up. And then have the rectangle, add a little bit of shadows. And then this will be a big coat. And then you come in and you add some legs. Now you can just pull down narrow like this. I always want to make what to make it look like they're walking. You just add one line or leg longer than the other and the other one a little bit shorter like that. Then you just add either a little bit of water on your brush or a lighter color and lightly pull down for a shadow. Now, if it's a wet or rainy day, you can paint more of a reflection, little lines like this tightly together. And then for the arms, you would just add another little line there and another line there. And then I'll take my round brush quickly and add a head. Oh, my black is running off the can or the palette here. So a little bit of black and you could just kind of outline a little, you want to have more of a rounded shoulder, add a little diagonal line on either side and then just round it out a little bit and then more of an oval for the head okay and then I'm just going to rinse my brush out and show you a few other ones. Same style, smaller, maybe a few different colors. So let's try taking a little bit of yellow ochre, a little bit of blue, and making green. So we could come in and add another one here. Rectangle again. A little white inside. Two little lines or skinny rectangles on either side of that. Add a little bit of black and this is a little farther away so even less details on the legs not that we have a lot here, but I'm just making this one a little pointier. Go back into this yellow ochre. And then add a little wiggle squiggle. You could go back in, add a little bit of yellow ochre to a little bit more yellow ochre and white. And just add a little bit more of a highlight, lighter colors here.
Okay, so let's work on a different shape now. Now the next shape that you can go by for figures is a, a figure eight. So I'm gonna show you that with the filbert brush to make this one a little bit bigger. I'm gonna take some blue and black and I'll make this one start with the head. I'm gonna make the head right there. And then we're just gonna go across and just make a figure eight like that. And then I'm gonna come in with some red and blue and black. And I'm gonna paint that in. I'm gonna go up on either side to connect the head. Okay, and the next thing you're gonna do is come in and make this a bit wider, scoop. Add an arm down and then over. And we're gonna make this a little straighter on either side. Add a little bit of water to my brush because it's just getting a little bit dry. And come down. and add the legs. Remember not adding a lot of detail. And then taking a little bit of yellow ochre and maybe some of that red there with the blue black in my brush still. We'll add a little reflection, shadow, And then what I like to do sometimes is show you guys how to paint uh, umbrellas. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of yellow ochre here, a little bit of red, a little bit of blue. And what we're gonna do is add outside of the shoulder, we're gonna add a little dab right there and there so we know where to go over. So we're going to go over half of the head and then bring it up and paint over like that. And I'm going to take a little bit of white and come inside. Now you typically want to separate the umbrella into about four to five sections, but you can easily just add a few lines. I'm going to take more white this time without washing my brush out. And go from the center here, just push up a little dab like that. One, two, three, and four. Now, if you bring these little points or these lines, just dab 
slightly under the umbrella, it'll end up looking more like those little scoopy, slight scoopy shapes you get. Now we need one of her arms to look like, or it could be a guy, a, a man or a female, um, one of them to look like it's not hanging down so that they could be holding the umbrella. So what we can do is just go with our red, blue, and black again, and just go over this area here, bring that in, take that background color, and then you would want a, a shape kind of like that. And also just sneak in a little, little separation here. Add a little bit of light, lighter areas here too, just with a little bit of yellow ochre, white, over that blue and black. I have another tutorial I'm working on for how to paint fabric coming up. So make sure that you stay tuned for that and you want to be uh, subscribed to my channel and tap on the bell so you don't miss it. Let's add a little bit of black now and just bring up a few little ruffles on the shoulder. This could be like the material on a dress or a coat. Just little bumps like this, it's so easy. Figure painting's a lot easier than you would think. Hope you guys are learning a lot in this video. And then a little shadow just under here, a few little lines. We could also come across the waist here and add a little belt. Add a little bit of black in between the arms. And then just oh, the rest of that black in my brush, hardly any. Mostly just a dry brush. And then a little bit more black right in this area here. And just blend that a little bit with some water. And a little bit of white and yellow ochre. We'll just come back in here. Let's just take a little bit more white. Okay, now the next shape that I want to show you for a simple figure is um, more of just a triangle but one that's kind of upside down so that's one that i use a lot and i'll just take oh well, let's add a little bit of yellow ochre some red again and we'll add one back here so these would be the shoulders, and then it comes in narrower, and then down into the legs. Okay, I'm going to take some blue, and 
And then you would just either bring it to a point or two little lines. Little shadow. Soften with a little bit of the yellow ochre. And then once you have your triangle shape, you can go back and add a line for the top part, coat. arm and maybe they're carrying something so you could have a little loop like this and a little bag let's scoop it up Scoop, scoop. A little oval. Now, if you make your ovals misshapen, it gives you even more dimension to the head and maybe which way it's turning. The way I pushed flat on my brush like that on that side, it almost looks like they're looking this way. So then I might take a little bit more red and this will get darker too as it dries okay and the next type of figure I'm going to show you is how to make one a female with two triangles so I'll take a little bit of water on my brush, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. I'm going to add a little bit of red here. I want to make more of a shade of purple. Okay, so two triangles, one upside down like that, and then the other one right side up. So it's kind of like the figure eight, but it's triangles. And we would just paint it in round the waist out a little bit. Soften the shoulders, make them rounder. Bring an arm down like this. Scoop up for the head. Maybe she's carrying something too. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of white and mix that. Thin the paint out of my brush with a little bit of water. Little line and then wiggle wiggle side to side. And then if you want to add a little bit more depth, a little bit more shadow. Mix up a little bit more without white this time. I'll add a little bit of shadow on here, maybe add some hair.
maybe a belt, a little line across there. Okay, then I'm going to take my small round brush and make more of that base color. And I'm going to make sure that I just go over this area here. So we still have those lighter areas. And you could add extra white to make some of the fabric on her skirt or dress or coat kind of have a little bit of a flounce and movement some pleats in there i usually like to create little loops like this so wherever it goes up and over like that the fabrics popping out and it's good. those are going to be the lighter areas underneath. Let's just take a little bit of red and blue, make a dark color here. Under that is going to be in shadow and in between. So you want to just emphasize with your highlights and shadows. And then from the waist and the belt, just a few little lines. And I'll just repeat some of these shapes in the process. Make a darker green with my blue and yellow ochre and make a long skinny rectangle like this for a longer coat. Then some short lines on either side. Bring it into the point right there. And the head. Again, a little oval. So to make the coat seem longer, like a long rain coat or trench coat, you would make the legs shorter. And then just lightly pull for the shadows with thin paint, a little bit of water if we need to. How about I show you guys another one with uh, another umbrella. So I'll take some red, a little bit of black. And we'll add one here, I'll add another figure eight. top half, bottom half. So we're going to have one arm shorter and then one carrying something. We'll just add a little something there. And then Have one leg stop higher up and one a little further down. At the head, I'm going to add just a little bit of blue and black. A little dab on the waist. And then A little shadow. I'll add just a little bit more paint to my brush. It's a little bit thinner. It's fine, but I just want to add a little bit more here. Okay, and I'm going to use my 
little round brush for the umbrella. And I'll start with blue and black. Okay, so we're gonna go outside the shoulder. So past the shoulder in like the middle of the head on either side. We're gonna go cut over the head and then go up and arch over like that. Add a little dab on the top. I'm going to take a little bit of white and just paint inside here. And I'm going to add, I don't know, it's kind of far away that we don't even need to add those lines, but I would just do a little dab, dab dab four to five of those and then on either side of the umbrella add a little bit extra white you don't want it to be white you want it to, you want to use more white to make a lighter shade of this sort of slate blue grayish color Okay, so I've shown you four, five, four, five, six, seven different uh, ways to paint figures today and silhouettes, some color mixing and color recipes. I hope that you guys picked up some great tips today and that you're excited to start adding these to your paintings. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!